Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Special K. And I'm Radar. And today we're gonna we're gonna try Wowza! It is a, uh, a hazy pale ale, 100 calories, 4% alcohol by volume, and it's a diet beer. So it's from Deschutes <laughs> Brewery. Uh, fun fact, the seltzer we just had had less calories and less carbs. Yes. In this beer, but it had more alcohol. It's, so, uh, it's, it's being very specific though that it is a diet beer, a low calorie beer. This beats out, this does beat out most seltzers. So if this is, I guarantee, probably more flavorful if it's a hazy. I mean, I would just like for it to have like little bits of fruit in it maybe. I'd be okay with that. Well, I mean, it is a, it's a hazy, so it's going to have chunks of brewery. It's got something in it. Must in it. Whoa. That is a powerful beer. That is very yellow. Like that's electric yellow. Yes. That's almost like boogie, 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 like boogie. Mountain Dewish color. I wouldn't no, that's not right. This is like mellow yellow co uh, color. That's more of uh, a uh, squirt. More of a squirt. Squirt. There you go. Squirt's cloudy. Tell me that is not a powerful smell. It's a very powerful smell. For a low-cal. Uh, it smells like a hazy, so it's juicy. You get a lot of grapefruit in there, a little bit of pine. Some lemon. Uh, lemon. It smells great. Like It does smell really nice. It smells very... Very strong, but you know it's not going to be. because like a touch bready. You know when you drink it, bit. it's going to be watery. I can already tell, but let's mm -hmm. do it. Very hot poured. Would not have called that as a uh, low calorie option. Um, it tastes like a lighter beer, but I mean it still has a ton of yeah, flavor. Yeah, on the for... end it's very crisp. Let's talk about other beers that are in this calorie range and stuff. You're talking like Michelob Ultra and like Bud Light. How much more flavor does that have than those Bud beers? Bud Select, weren't they really Bud low Select's calorie? like 95. Yeah. yeah. This has substantially <clears throat> more flavor than those beers, and it just proves that you can make a flavorful beer, light beer, without it tasting like water. All you got to do is add dust. Add dust to your calorie it's low, less low dust calorie and just beers. more of not, not filtering your beers. <laughs> I, I, I think people, I think a lot of people are, are generally uncomfortable with their beer being that color, though. I, I'm fine. I could drink this all night. This would be an all night drinker. My I am a little problem, bit worried with how yellow it is. My only problem with this beer, price is going to be a factor on this. So, unlike the big, big three mm. that are of light beers, this one's going to cost you, you know, ten, nine, ten bucks for a six pack versus six bucks for a six pack. Um, so drinking on this that all is night, that would is be unfortunate. Difficult. And you know, they're pro I have not seen it available on anything other than Sixers, um, but I'm sure, and you know, in Michigan where this is, I think the shoots is in Michigan. Look, if you're only going to drink one or two days a week, Oregon. Though, I'm wrong, Oregon. How dare you? Hey, they've they've been family owned since I was born, 1988. Congratulations to them, not to you. I don't care about you. But if you're only going to drink one or two times a week, you might as well drop a couple extra dollars on your beer. If you're wanting something that is hoppy, but you're not really a hop head, and you're wanting to get into different beers, this would be a great beer to transition into. Um, from like less flavorful trash beers, like you know Bud right. Light and you know stuff like that. You know, if you don't want to, if you don't want to be on a diet, or if you want to be on a diet but you don't want your beer to taste like you're on a diet, that's an option. You know, you have that that certain number of calories that you're allowed to spend on things that are not food. It's a shame that this probably won't be around very long. I guarantee it. Yeah, I don't think it will probably exist for very long. It, it's not quite a. It's not quite beer, and it's also not quite a seltzer. And right now, seltzers are the things. If you don't have a seltzer on the market, you're just nobody. Allow yeast add it to the can to allow the beer to age gracefully. Well, all right. Do we have more than one of these? No, I do. Not. Oh, that's a shame. It says it says uh, drink within four months, so it says on the can. What's graceful about that? Well, I mean, it is a pale ales, anything hazy or pale ales or IPAs, except when you get into the Big Daddy tripled IPAs, they're not going to age very well just because of the hops. Uh, what happens to the hops when they get older is they release uh, hop oil, which tends to make the beer taste like weed. It gets so, kind of kind of rancid. Weed. Uh, but weed. but how, why would you even write that? I'm a little bit angry now that they well, wrote just, that on the can. Well, what I'm taking from it is it's going to stay fresher longer, I suppose. That's another thing. Bud Light's going to stay good in a can for like two years. Yeah. Um, this is not... But, I mean, who keeps beer in the refrigerator that long? I mean, I know I don't. <laughs> now, you guys. Uh, you have beer in your refrigerator from my wedding still. Yeah, but your wedding was three months ago, and I had four 30-packs. That's true. And also, I had a ton of craft beer, and I have all of this liquor. So, 
Yeah. What are you talking about? This is not even all that much. I have maybe no, I have maybe like fifteen bushes left. That's it. <laughs> but anyway, on the rating of this beer, uh, excellent low calorie hazy in my opinion, and I would say it's pretty brave to do low cal hazy because hazy those extra chunks that's all calories that they're adding to the beer. Uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna go with an eight. Yeah, I I think they did a fantastic job with this. Um, yeah, it is it is really low calorie for for how it tastes. I guess I do have to give it like a. Now actually, I am gonna give it a seven and a half. Expense and the stupid thing they wrote on the side of the can irritates me. Eh, it's pretty normal. Age gracefully at four months. Yeah, well again, it's a freshy hoppy beer. That's normal for like. Hop, most IPAs, they're not going to last more than four or five months. Yeah. A hazy's going to last even less time just because of the chunkies in it. Still irritated. Um, yeah, I mean, it's excellent for what it is. Uh, highly recommend it. Wish it was more available, a little bit cheaper. Um, but that would I mean, be really it's, nice. It's great for what it is. I'd like to see other companies branching out there. Now, if you're used to like traditional hazies, you're going to be like, oh, this doesn't have as much flavor. But if you read the can, yeah, and you understand that a regular hazy is like 200 calories. Like, look, it's 100 calories. This is almost a diet item. You can go on a diet while drinking this. That's a pretty big deal. Well, I'm about to go on a diet, and I can guarantee I'm going to have a six-pack of this. I want a beer, 100 calories. Yeah. Ah, uh, I bought a keg. Dang it. Ah, I can help you with that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, did you give it a number? Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, highly recommend it. All right, well, that's been our episode. <laughs> if there's something you'd like to see on the channel, leave a comment right there. Don't forget to hit that like button. Check us out on Facebook. Patreon, Instagram, and our website. I'm Special K. I'm Radar. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.